Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the time has officially come. Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace are out of Chicago as general manager and head coach. The Bears have fired Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace after going 6-11 and this season. I believe Ryan Pace was there for seven seasons. Obviously, he was with Fox, and then he hired Nagy. For Matt Nagy, it's one of those things, man, like when we look back at the tenure of his time with the Chicago Bears, the highs and lows have just been astronomical. I mean, imagine coming out of the gate, your first season winning coach of the year, you go 12 and four. God knows what happens if we make that field goal. You know, I'm a Bears fan, so I always believed that we were gonna make a run at the Super Bowl potentially. I'm not sure if that would have actually happened, but you miss the field goal. You know, you come into the next season, you lose your defensive coordinator. The rest was kind of history. Everything from that, it, it just all kind of went downhill. Obviously, Trubisky didn't work out, so we drafted Justin Fields. Nobody's surprised. This news has been brewing since, I think it was November. It was after that Lions game where reports came out that nah, he was basically gone. Some people did say Ryan Pace was going to stay. And I believe that McCaskey actually loved Ryan Pace and it was a really hard thing for him to fire him, but it was 100% the right move. You know, Ryan Pace, I gotta give him credit, right? You know, he had some balls, man. The trade for Khalil Mack, he moved up in the draft multiple times. He had some decent signings, Akeem Hicks, Allen Robinson. Obviously the draft of Roquan Smith was a hit, but there was also a lot of misses, man. I mean, Kevin White, Leonard Floyd. But the truth of the matter is the Bears have not won a playoff game since 2010. 10 plus years since the Chicago Bears won a playoff game. I don't really have much memory of that. I remember, I, I vaguely, Remember that Packer game being upstairs in my dad's office. I mean, I, I was 12 years old at the time, uh, or I was 11 actually. So the fact that as a real Chicago Bear fan, I have never seen them win a playoff game is just really, really, really sad. There are reports that Ted Phillips will be retiring likely in 2023, uh, but I'm hoping that he can he can step down. We, we need to do this. Is, we need to do everything that the Chicago Bulls did. They, they set out the blueprint. Bears need to follow along. As for general manager and head coach options, we will have a separate, two separate videos on that. Uh, there is a lot of names going around. It is Black Monday. So there is head coaches and general managers getting fired like there is no tomorrow. The NFC North alone, Zimmer's gone. You know, the Bears fired Nagy. And now it's like, you got Dan Campbell, you got Matt LaFleur. Um, there, there's a lot of open spaces. Uh, Miami fired Brian Flores, which was kind of crazy. And it's going to be an interesting next month or so for Chicago football. Um, let me know who you guys want the Bears to, to bring in as a head coach or a general manager. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.